Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Great. Good, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Well, of course, you know, my name is Shindira Dawson, and I'm the assistant to Southfield Police Chief Elvin Barron. And uh, we would like to welcome you this morning to our 2022 Breast Cancer Awareness Press Conference, where our theme this year is hope, strength, and courage in honor of everyone that we've lost and in honor of everyone who survived this terrible disease. Uh, we'd like to let you know that the restrooms are just downstairs, just some housekeeping information for you. The restrooms are located just downstairs. And again, without further ado, we'd like to welcome you to our 2022 Breast Cancer Awareness Press Conference. And I'd like to introduce Southfield Police Chief Elvin Barron. You know, we're excited this morning. We're gonna get some energy in this room today. And so, there we go, there we go. We got a very notable cause. We got two cancer organizations, that, as I always say, Southfield-based organizations. We talk about the Tamara Latimer Foundation and the Living Brave Through Breast Cancer. Give them both a round of applause. Both of these organizations do amazing work for our community. I've seen it, I've witnessed it with my own hands. If it's not the Latimer's doing the, the popcorn displays, if it's not the Randall's doing demonstrations in the community, countless things. We're gonna talk about that and show a video at, at an appropriate time. But we're gonna kick this thing off recognizing our country with the national anthem by someone that we all know and love, minister and chaplain, Ms. Rosemary Allen. Minister and Chaplain, that was outstanding. Give her another round of applause. So before we get to the program, I do want to introduce uh, members of my staff, certainly standing to my left, Deputy Chief Aaron Hughley, who oversees investigations. Deputy Chief Jeff Zagelski, who oversees patrol. This command team is very important because the vision that I may have, it takes the team to carry those visions out. So give them a round of applause. 
Okay, so let's get into the program. And as I always said, we're gonna hear from our great mayor who was really instrumental in bringing the Latimers and the Randalls into Southfield. So Dr. Kesa Sivan, Sivan, come on up here and let's hear from you. Well, good morning, everyone. It's another uh, great day in the city of Southfield. Uh, it's always tough uh, for me to follow the chief and Rosemary Allen. Um, uh, I'd rather be up here before them because um, they're tremendous. Um, I, you know, it's really amazing, uh, and I don't, I don't know another community around where this happens, where um, our police department and our uh, fire department are so fully engaged in the community in many, many ways. Um, this is just uh, one more example. Uh, earlier this month, we did our uh, walk for uh, uh, awareness on um, domestic violence. Uh, we have a gun, back, uh, gun buyback program coming up. We have um, our uh, gun safety program, uh, books, giveaway to kids. I mean, there's just all kinds of things. And what I think is really, really important is that um, uh, in Southfield, I'm extremely proud of our police and fire departments. Uh, and part of the reason is that they're folks, they're, they're regular people like all of us, and they put a human face on their departments. Um, they're very approachable, uh, they're here to protect and serve, and they do a great job. So um, I have such confidence in, in both of our chiefs uh, and all of, the, all of the folks that make up these two departments. So uh, it's not, it's not surprising that, of course, they're embracing uh, breast cancer. Um, I won't uh, go into my own story, but a, a number of you know that I'm a cancer survivor seven years now. Woo! Um, Woo! Uh, and uh, the message I always give people, um, I found a lump. And uh, honestly, I thought it was a hernia, to tell you the truth, but uh, I, I did immediately, you know, a matter of weeks, I was in the doctor's office. And early detection, I can't say enough about it. Uh, uh, to give, um, more, today more and more people are surviving cancer. And, um, a, but a lot of it has to do with not ignoring something that do, isn't right. Um, and many times the, the fatalities are people that, for one reason or another, sometimes it's just aversion to going to see a doctor. Um, uh, uh, it, it spreads, it gets worse. The chances of survival are shorter and shorter. So um, uh, I just uh, very, very glad that um, we've been doing breast cancer support for a number of years, but with the, both our chiefs, We've taken it to another level. And as the chief said, uh, I found these two organizations. I've done worked with the Latimers for many, many years and uh, more recently uh, with the Randalls. Um, but I'm very glad that um, I know all of these people. And I, the thing that is special about them is that they are helping people in our community with all kinds of things. Uh, cancer is not just about the individual. It Im impacts the family. Um, and the support that these organizations give uh, to help not only the individual but the family is extremely uh, important. And I'm very grateful for, for both of you. So thank you. Thank you, Mayor. So let's hear from our great fire chief, Fire Chief Johnny Menifee. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome. You know, the fire department is, is with you. Uh, another year, Latimer's, hey, with uh, Living Brave, 
two um, charities that we, foundations that we, we really want to get behind and, and, and support, and we're very happy to do so. Um, from a, a grandson, grandmother, a survivor of breast cancer for over 40 years from early detection, you know, I, I, I really feel uh, it personally with me that I was able to have those 40 years with her after she was diagnosed. So that, that I'm, I'm really um, proud of what we're, what we're doing and what you're doing and continue to do um, for, for breast cancer. You know, I've, um, it's kind of got a heavy heart today. My, um, this is the anniversary of my, my best friend's uh, death from cancer um, today. Um, you know, he died of pancreatic cancer, a little different, but, um, you know, I know he'd want me to tell you is, is that the early detection, you know, the, the, the more that you can actually, uh, you know, the technology and the research and everything that's happening, and the more that, that you can do in early detection is, is the thing that can help, you know, survive longer, and that's, that's a very good thing. So we're, you know, American Cancer Society is looking at 20, uh, two, 280,000 new cases this year. They're looking at 2,700 cases of men. You know, I can't stress enough about doing self-examinations at home and about doing your regular screenings. And that includes men too. Men should be checking just as much as, as, as women these days too. So I want you to know every fire truck, every frontline fire truck is wrapped with a breast cancer ribbon. Hopefully that will have individuals that they see it, that they'll like remember to make an appointment, that remember to, to call a loved one and to reach out to, to loved ones and remember to, to, um, to get their regular screenings and, and do self-examination. So I thank you. Thank you, Mayor Chief. And just to touch on that a little longer, men, pay attention. Let me say it again. Men, pay attention. Breast cancer, all cancer is real. I know sometimes we get to be macho and we don't necessarily want to make those appointments, but make those appointments. And so much to the commitment of this city, the Southfield Police Department, we require our officers, men and women, to undergo an annual physical every year so that we assist them on doing the right thing and make sure we are aware of early detection. So just something for other departments to consider as well, making sure that your men and women are doing what they need to be doing when it comes to pre-screening and early detection. So now we're going to hear from the president and CEO of Living Brave Through Breast Cancer, Mr. Zell Rando. Thank you so much, Chief Barron. I want to give that up to you. So I want everybody to clap for him for allowing us this opportunity to be here this morning, as well as Mayor uh, Cyber and with Sergeant Wembley. 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 He, Wembley. He left. Okay, I don't see. Him. He's over there. Somewhere. He's on. Okay. And Chief Manaphy, everybody, I, I just appreciate you all for allowing us this opportunity. I am really honored and grateful uh, to have this moment with you all to share with the city that I live in. It's very important, as he mentioned, early detection can save your life. Uh, this is my second time dealing with breast cancer and I made it through. Cancer could come back. It, it, even though the five year span is more likely, in my case it was 26 years later that it came back in the other breast. So, and a lot of people don't realize that there's a lot of after effect uh, situations that happen to people that's dealing with breast cancer that have had either the surgeries or chemo or radiation. It's a whole gamma. The mental health, the spiritual health, and the financial health can take you down. So I, I would like to also, if it's okay, to uh, call up my sisters here. We usually call it the class of. And the class of of those young ladies who joined the organization, whether it's the class of 2020, 2021, and 2022. Today, we have class of 2020, 2021, and our new members, class of 2022. And I would like for you ladies to come on up. Woo! <laughs> Yep. Because <laughs> I want people to realize that, that you're not alone. I mentioned that in the video. No one is alone fighting cancer. If you open up your mouth and let people know that you're going through, somebody is there to support you along the way because this battle is very scary. You know, when you get the notice or the call from the doctors and you have to sit in front of that doctor and talk to them about the matter, most of the time, you, it, it's almost like the Charlie Brown teacher. You don't understand what they're saying. It's womp, 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 womp. 
So I like for people to know that you're not alone going through this. So this is what we do. This is what the organization is all about, is to support people who are going through breast cancer. And we not only support the fighters, but we support the survivors, we support the family members, the caregivers, as well as the supporters, because people don't realize even supporters go through something seeing other people going through cancer. It's hard all the way around. So um, I also want uh, to ask my daughter, who is also the COO of Living Brave Through Breast Cancer, to step up here with me, because she was, <laughs> She, to me, was that foundation that helped build Living Brave Through Breast Cancer. I almost lost everything going through cancer. And I, I felt the Lord leading me to start this organization, and I had no money to start it with because I was going through a big challenge in my life. And she said, Mom, what do you need? I'm here. And so I have to give it up to Avis Randall, our COO right. of Living Brave Through Breast Cancer, yeah. who started this. In front of an audience, and tell your story. Not only did they tell that story, they told their story with courage, and I love that word, and another avenue of spreading awareness through their own journeys. So again, we thank you for that. Uh, and Avis, Zell, we appreciate you both. So now we're gonna hear from the COO of Living Great Through Breast Cancer. Avis Randall. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief Man uh, Barron and Chief Manifee. Did I turn this on? Okay. Uh, my name, did I turn this on? Yeah, let me sit down. Testing. Testing. Go ahead, I'll play this. Okay. Got it. Uh, thank you. Again, thank you, Chief Barron, um, Chief Manifee. Uh, Mayor Siver, everyone here, Mom, um, all of the uh, City of Southfield members, we appreciate you guys for having us. Uh, we are extremely grateful to be here, to be a support system for the community. Um, so my name, again, is Avis Randall. I'm the COO of Living Brave Through Breast Cancer. And so I'm going to just basically let you know some things that we have, some events that we have coming up. Uh, as my mom alluded to, every year we host a series of fundraisers to raise funds uh, in support of our Living Brave Through Breast Cancer members, the breast cancer community, and the community in general. So um, most recently we had our Living Brave Through Breast Cancer Battle of the Sexes, uh, bowling, <laughs> bowling for Boobs Championship game, <laughs> and essentially the men, it's the men against the women. And um, I am not pleased to say, slash, I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm pleased to announce that the men won <laughs> again this Woo! year. Woo, go men, so, go men. So you guys hold the title for this year, and uh, next year we'll have a rematch, ladies. Come on out. <laughs> um, so that was our event, it was a huge success. So we're grateful to everyone who came out. Um, next, excuse me, this coming Friday, we have our Poetry Comedy Slam. That's gonna be October 21st. It's from, um, 6 to, not to 10 p.m., so come out, enjoy some spoken words and entertainment because laughter is healing for the soul. And I know you all have had a stressful week, and so it'll be a perfect opportunity for you guys to kind of just relax and, and kick back and um, enjoy some great entertainment. And, and it's for a great cause, and uh, we thank you for the support that you've given us by. Thank you for having me. All right, all right, that was outstanding. Because that's the applause. Give a round of applause. You look over here and help out, man. And we're going to have her, her, her husband, this strong man, stand with your wife. Stand with your wife. Hello, everyone. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, don't let my horse fool you. I can outrun all of you. <laughs> gotcha. Um, first, thank you to Mayor Siver and Chief Barron and to all of your posse. <laughs> your fire department, the police department, we are delighted to be with you again this year. Um, I was listening to Channel 2 this morning and they were talking about every day someone dies from cancer someplace in the world. Every day. And I was amazed, so I kept listening and they talked about the 2,600 men in this country who get breast cancer every year. 
and 500 of those die. They don't survive. So with that in mind, we cannot say enough early detection, early detection. Get yourself checked, whether it's with your doctor or you can check yourself, right team? They all right, said, all right, all right. They said, don't be a chump. Check for a lot. Okay? <laughs> Come on up here with your granny. Come on up here. Saying what? Don't, don't be a chump. Check for a lot. Don't be a Come on, say it with them. Don't be a chump. Check for a lot. Don't be a chump. Check for a lot. Check yourself, you know that means you must be a chump, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily, but get yourself checked, okay? <laughs> um, unfortunately, the people that I invited to uh, speak to you this morning, um, David Jones is our secretary, and uh, the Tamara Latimer Cancer Foundation doesn't just deal with breast cancer. We deal with all different kinds of cancer. When you apply for funds, it doesn't matter what the kind of cancer you're dealing with is. You can come to us for help. The members of the foundation are hands-on members. Not only do we uh, give funds and resources and support, but we have a team who will bring food to your house because it's been, it's been said many times here that it's not personal. It's a family affair. It's a community affair. So we all have to be proactive when we know one of our brothers or sisters is dealing with cancer. Would run up to him and grab him around the legs because they were so happy to see him with his boxes of food. That's hands on. Then I asked Yolanda Bishop to come and speak to you because she's the one who will pick you up at your house, take you to the grocery store, let you select all the groceries you want, and then she pays the bill through the Tamara Latimer Cancer Foundation. She had to work, she's a nurse, so she got called in. Also, I asked the scholarship committee to come in and tell you about their process because at our yearly event, we give scholarships to young people who are dealing with, who are pursuing any area of medicine. Um, she couldn't make it either, so I apologize on their behalf. Um, the scholarships are awarded at our event each March. Uh, our organization has been, was established in 19, 98. So we've had many, many years. Rah, 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 one final time. <laughs> These are my grandchildren, <laughs> Micah, Micaiah, and Matthew. And these are my team members. You know my strong, dark, and handsome. Ooh, <laughs> Yes, I'll keep them. <laughs> ah. But I'm grateful, I am truly grateful for the support of Mayor Cyber comes to, has been coming to our, uh, our gala, <laughs> I'm sure 10 plus years. And I thank all of you for the work that you have done. And before I take my seat, I hope I didn't leave anything out. My daughter calls me her teenager. You know, you got your teenagers, and we're her teenagers because I tell her, if I don't write it down, sometimes, a lot of times I won't remember, and then behind that, I can't remember where I wrote it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what I want you to remember the Tamara Latimer Cancer Foundation, and hopefully you'll support the Tamara Latimer Founda Cancer Foundation when you hear of things that we're doing, and my husband's holding my armpit, which me means I've been talking too long. Mm -hmm. He does that at the gala, too. Oh, www.tomlatimercares, T-H-O-M, 
Tom is just the first part of Tamara, T-H-O-M, and then her last name, Latimer, L-A-T-I-M-E-R, C-A-R-E-S dot org. And it's on the flyers that are on the table. So please, 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 uh, as I said before, our popcorn uh, fundraiser begins today. So if you will take a flyer and all you have to do is click on our website. Um, it may not be up for a couple of hours because it starts at noon and I have to send it to our IT who will put it on the website. So you may have to wait until maybe two or three o'clock before you can place an order. Um, but please uh, do that and help these children with their class project. Uh, they have to make a presentation in May, I think it is. And uh, I want them to be able to say that you all help them and we want to take pictures with you all so they, they can put it in their report. Um, and uh, I, think, I think that is it. I all can't right. thank you enough. I can't thank you enough, uh, thank you. Chief Barron and uh, Ms. Syra and all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did you want to say hello? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, give Ms. Latimer a round of applause. And sir, we want to continue to recognize her as she mentioned the importance of the generations, her grandchildren, her children, continuing the great work of the foundation, making sure that the community has what it deserves. So one more round of applause for Latimer. So now we're going to start with the first presentation of the donations. We're going to hear from Detective Alexis Madison, who is the president of Friends of Southfield Police. Alexis, come on up here and get it done. Thank you. Hello, my name is Detective Alexis Madison, and I'm here on behalf of the Friends of Southfield Police. It's our nonprofit for the police department. We have annual events uh, where we raise money so that if there's a tragedy for a police officer, their families, or in the community, we're able to reach out and help. And today we're here for breast cancer awareness and last year was our first year beginning to sell these pink patches that you see on our shirts up here. Um, we combined the proceeds with um, selling more this year and we also sold t-shirts to the police officers in the department. Uh, the police officers bought over 150 t-shirts this year and with these proceeds, we would love to make a donation to both of your organizations. So we would like to present um, a $500 check to both the Tamara Latimer Foundation and Live and Brave Through Breast Cancer. Come on up here. Stop. My husband, come on up here. Come on up here. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get a photo in here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Thank you. Yeah, let's make it easy. Y'all come over here and make it easy. Y'all come in. That's right. Get some energy in here. Y'all come out. Get your cheer on, girls. Get your cheer on. Don't be a chump. It's a good moment. It's a good moment. All right. Thank you. It'll be $250 a piece uh, for both foundations. And so I'll make this one easier, but thank you, Savy Cybers, uh, for this donation to both these causes, and I'll present these on behalf of them. So that's what the community does. When the community hears about organizations doing what they need to impact the community, they step up. And so we appreciate those uh, donations for these two organizations. So we're going to have our final speaker. Uh, Mrs. Roseberry Allen, minister and chaplain, uh, who too uh, is a survivor, is going to take us out. Come on up, Ms. Roseberry. Thank you, thank you. Hasn't this been wonderful? Give yourselves a hand. Woo! Woo! That's right, energy, energy. First of all, again, thank you, Chief Barron, and to the committee for this wonderful opportunity to once again stand and proclaim why the conversation needs to continue and the education surrounding breast cancer awareness. I know many of you, including myself, have had someone close to you pass away due to breast cancer or some other type of cancer. 
That's why we continue the fight for full eradication of this disease, period. That's right. Woo. It is crucial to our loved ones and friends that silence and denial must be replaced with action and advocacy, that early screenings equal early detection, and early detection equals a chance at a longer, fuller life. We've heard from two amazing local organizations on this morning, and we know that this is not just an October event, right? But every day, we are about the business of being proactive versus reactive by making healthy lifestyle choices, doing self-breast examinations, and meeting with our doctors regularly to have vital screenings, which are still considered number one in reducing the impact and prevention of breast cancer. So don't forget to make yourself a priority and not feel guilty about taking the time to be present and in the moment about who you are and who God says that you are. Because if you are sick and incapacitated, you are no good for anyone else. It's like the airline says, are you putting your mask on before you assist others? So you have to make your own self a priority so you can be around to take care of the things that need to be done. So if you need support, wonderful organizations out here. We heard from them, Living Brave Through Breast Cancer and the Tamara Latimer Cancer Foundation. They will equip and empower you, while you, because you are number one in so many folk lives. I almost said amen, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> you can say it, you can say it. Well, y'all know I'm a preacher, so raising awareness about this important issue requires dedication, commitment, and passion. The call to action is crucial to this cause. It requires all breast on deck, all breast on deck, not just hands. However you choose to take action this month and each month thereafter, know that your efforts will be making a difference in the many lives. Folk that you will never ever know you have touched, but you're touching them in what you do, how you do it, and the manner in which you do it. On a personal note, I lost my mom to cancer decades ago. I saw her suffering and honestly, I still feel that pain today, and I'm haunted by those memories. My sister-in-law had breast cancer five years ago and is now in remission. However, her recent mammogram needs another retake. So we're praying that the next one shows no recurrence. I pray, and I mean I honestly pray, that needed medical research advances are ongoing and are improving the lives of others while giving them a second chance at life. Surely, we must have come a little bit further and what the research is telling us, my God, today, we're still losing people and we shouldn't, we shouldn't. So let's all be about our brothers and sisters breast cancer business by each one reaching one. If you feel something, do something. Ignoring it doesn't make it go away. When you catch cancer in its early stages, you are in it to win it. So we can all do our collective part to raise global awareness of breast cancer and cancer in general. We cannot take life for granted. We just can't do it. We fight to win because it's our body, our life. And remember, the battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. Woo! Who's <laughs> on? Who's on? And so, great words. Again, minister and chaplain, Rosemary Allen. One more round of applause. So we're gonna, we're gonna uh, wrap it up. I do wanna acknowledge uh, our media presence here. We'll start with Southfield's own Cable 15, Jim Hall. We have both Channel 4, Local 4. And we have CBS Detroit. And then also, you see him standing right here, 
She says, Chief, you know, sometimes the media don't necessarily show up. Chief, can we go Facebook Live? I said, absolutely. Give Kelly Payne the round of applause. <laughs> Kelly, said, Kelly said, we'll get this message out regardless. But we do thank our media friends for being here. But Kelly, thank you for your creative idea of going Facebook Live. We Facebook Live right now. Tell Kelly. Okay, and also, just a couple more announcements. If you turn to your program, and again, I want to thank Ms. Shandira Dawson for putting together this, this lovely program. Uh, but I do want to close with a couple of quotes that came out, and then we'll bring up uh, Avis Aranda for a final closure. But I'll start with the first quote. The human spirit is stronger than anything that can happen to it. C.C. Scott. There can be life after breast cancer. The prerequisite is early detection by Ann Gillian. When fear knocks, let faith answer the door. Robin Roberts. You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. Eleanor Roosevelt. You beat cancer by how you live, why you live, and in the manner in which you live. Live your life by your own terms, not cancers. Orson Martin. Give him a round of applause, too. And before you leave, if you can uh, stop, we got cake here. We got a breast cancer awareness cake. Continue that message, and the cadets will serve you appropriately. But Avis, take us out. So I, I wanted to say um, age is not a factor, obviously. <laughs> I forgot to mention that um, we have our flyers over here on the table. And I wanted you guys to pick it up and uh, share it with your friends and family members because um, as everyone has stated, breast cancer awareness um, and early detection is extremely important. So please come out and uh, support our events. Um, you can purchase your tickets for the uh, Poetry Slam event at Team Living Brave, team, excuse me, teamlivingbrave.ludus, that's L-U-D-U-S dot com. And you can reserve your tickets for our Early Detection Awareness Symposium at Living Brave, um, Living, excuse me. It's at Living Brave, TBC, Dot Ludus, it's L -U -D -U -S dot com. And please do so as, as soon as possible because seats are limited and they are um, selling fast. Um, but with that being said, please go and get your mammograms, both men and women. Early detection awareness is key. Um, it's extremely important so that you can stay here and live longer lives. Um, thank you for having us. Thank you to our sponsors and to the city of Southfield. And again, Mayor Cyber, appreciate you. Chief Barron and Chief Manatee. Thank you so much. All right, that concludes our program. We'll be around for some photos. We've got a lot of and uh, take some photos and have some cake. Thank you all for being here.